We've got tenor horns, baritones, euphoniums, basses, and the most important of all, because that's what I play, the cornet. I'm only kidding, really. And if you look very carefully, you'll see a man with long hair in the back. Hmm. Believe it or not, that's me. I was, I was probably about 17 then, I reckon. And you can always tell it's me because I always hold my elbow up like that. <laughs> what else might James Revilius have seen when he took this picture? What he would have seen in this picture is the old schoolroom near the church over towards West Appledore because that's where the band used to practice. He would have seen probably lots of cases all around because people have taken the instruments out of their cases. And he might have even seen Arthur Boyles balancing a cigarette on the end of the music stand because he was very naughty like that. Well, he would have certainly met Mr. Fred Pickering because Fred was the musical director and the conductor, very important member of the band. He was responsible for actually making sure the musicians played at the right time and with the right sound and hopefully the right music. So he would have certainly met Fred. It's a different sort of band than when I started because when I started, Appledore had a boys brigade. Now boys brigade is similar to girl guides and brownies and rainbows and things like that, but this was a boys brigade. And then when our boys brigade section folded, when it, when it stopped to, it ceased to exist in 1965, we changed it to a brass band. Now the brass band traditionally plays hymn tunes and marches. However, over the years, we now play all sorts of music. As well as the traditional marches and hymn tunes and things like that, we play pop music and we even play some classical music. Let's, let's be very patriotic.